Welcome back to School of Civil Engineering. This is Atullah with another new video. As we have started CSSA 2016 tutorial series and uh, already have completed all kinds of slab design, all kinds of shallow foundation design in our previous lecture. So if you're new here, you can watch our previous lecture and I have told you that uh, we'll start the foundation design, okay, uh, by using CSSA 2016 and uh, in this lecture, I'll just show you that how will design or pile foundation okay how will design our pile foundation a to z so first of all i just want to show something actually before uh, designing a pile we just need some parameter like what will be the spacing of one pile to another pile how much pile is required for our pile group and uh, what should be the dimension of our pile just everything we require okay everything we require and what will be the uh, diameter of pile what will be the length of our pile like that okay and what will be the size of our pile cap just we have to know about all data previously before designing software and in software we'll just design our pile cap okay and uh, previously we have to find out every data and how we'll find out that if you're following my channel then you absolutely know that I have shown you in my previous some lectures that how will find out that data by using excel file and i have created some uh, excel file for you that are really that is really helpful for you i think so so mm, here that is our file fast excel software here that is our fast excel software all right and here I have uh, shown you that in all lecture that how we'll find out the diameter of pile the length of pile and load capacity of pile okay I have just shown you that so here and I have created I have provided that excel file for free and that video link are given in description so I think before starting that series you should to learn about that software and I have created that software app for you absolutely free and I have provided that absolutely free for you I mean to improve our civil engineering sector better and here I have just click here after providing that data here this is the pile capacity data and final result here is the final result data this is the allowable data 1027 kilo newton and when our uh, software is okay then I'll just go input data and I will use that three data I will just use that three data for our for find out our another parameters so here they have another excel file and i've just also shown you that in another lecture that how we'll uh, find out our data for our excel calculation okay and here finally we have found our dead data sorry here i'll ju i just have to give it's eight that means i have to give a nine so i have just uh shown you that how we'll find out that data for our work right for our pile cap design so by using that data we'll just design our pile cap right so again if you're new here you can watch our previous video that link are given in description and before starting i'm just requesting you if you're a civil engineer and if you think that that all things are helpful for you then please stay with us by subscribing our channel and also press the bell icon because uh, without your support we are nothing and we require your support just to improve ourselves and also improve yourself so I'm just I'll just close that don't see okay and I'll use that data for our design purpose and first of all before starting that uh, data we have to just go to here uh, for our new model new then from here new model in uh, initialization so from here you have to select your design code okay you have to select your design code from here i will select the latest design code aci 2000 uh, 318 2014 version and so here and here i will provide design preferences but before providing design preferences i'll go unit i'll just change that unit so from here you have to select the unit and here i will just consider matrix unit okay i'll consider 
the matrix and default okay matrix default unit then click okay then after providing that unit we just have to come here design preferences so from here sorry sorry from here just uh, this is the code please i'll just recommend you do not change anything from here because uh, this is the default value for uh, that code now i'll just go here and from here i'll change the data so here it's showing us top cover okay Cl uh, clear cover top actually this is minimum cover slab actually here the slab will be used as a mat i mean sorry uh, as a pile cap okay and i will just use that slab as a pile cap and you also know that the pile cap is like a slab work like as a slab so here as uh, our pile cap will be connected with soil or directly water then we'll just give a 75 millimeter or three inch okay 75 millimeters and first of all i'll just consider that our uh, the bar size is 16 mm okay or bar size is 16 mm and layer v 208 is okay and uh, x for beam they have no use of beam that's why we will not change anything so it's done then click okay so when it's done when it's done then i'll just go here the blank otherwise i can go here grid only okay i can go here for grid only or i can go here for blank so just uh, in my many video in that tutorial series i have just shown you that how we'll use blank and how we'll edit our data i mean i'll change our grid so in this lecture i'm just going to show you that grid only okay directly i'm just going here so click grid only and here is the important thing and here we need the data from excel actually so number of grid line in x it's two and number of grid in y it's also two actually why so if i go to our excel file just see here there are four point one two three suppose here a uh, number a uh, nine pile record pen that's here one two three four that four points so here one grid and here on grid line and in x y direction here on grid and here on grid line all right so i'll just go here one and one two grid line and the grid spacing actually what is the grid spacing x in x direction and in y direction also we we'll found uh, we have uh, just calculated that data by using that excel sheet i'm just requesting you if you knew here you can watch our previous uh, lecture that excel uh, i mean uh, that lecture that link are given in description so that will be very very helpful for you so here in x direction here is the S, uh, total length here the total length 5.36 5.36 is the total length in x direction and also for y direction total length is 5.36 actually as our uh, both direction pile requirement are same 3 into 3 here 3 into 3 that's why it's showing us that total length here 5.36 and 5.36 meter i'll just go to our software and from here i'll give you 5.36 also 5.36 meter 5.36 meter and 5.36 meter it's done right actually this is very very simple i think so so it's done now i'll just click ok now see here here is the shape of our pile cap actually this is the shape of our pile cap right so if you just want to remove the horizon from background just simply click here and from here click horizon then click ok so it's done here is the here is the shape of our pile and here we'll just draw our pile cap now as video being very lengthy so you know next video i'll just show you that how we'll define our materials properties for our pile uh, i mean pile cap design okay and for also for our piles and also for our uh, columns on pile cap so if you think that that's helpful for you please don't forget to subscribe to our channel also press the bell icon and like our video share our video and also leave a comment because your own comment and your own like inspires for the next word 
सो थैंक यू थैंक यू वेरी मच एस्ट एस्ट कनेक्टेड टिल नेक्स्ट वीडियो